Hello everybody, Salty Canuck here again, hey, bringing you another article, and we're going to be looking at Fox News, Jessica Tarlov, and the apology that she was supposed to make on air, live, during her Fox News on the 5, and guess what? It didn't go so well. If you guys haven't been following it, what happened is, during the uh, Bobolinsky uh, uh, impeachment um, hearing, Jessica and her leftist ideologue, card-carrying Democrat uh, mouth of hers, spewed out, a lost, uh, spewed out some false allegations. And the lawyers from Tony Bolinsky's uh, side sent a scathing, and I mean a scathing letter to Fox News, demanding that um, Jessica Tarlov live during the next segment on the next day apologize for the false stuff that she gave during that five um, that five broadcast. So she did that, but it wasn't an apology. And so this is not over. They are still in legal trouble, and Tony Blinsky's lawyers may very well be doing a defamation case against both Jessica Tarlov and Fox, Fox News. Like, if you watch the supposed apology... It was laughable, absolutely laughable. It says here in this article from Red State, Tony Bobolinsky's lawyer reacts to Fox News hosts, quote, clarification of the false accusation. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was pretty bad. So it says here, during Wednesday's broadcast, Tarlov erroneously stated that Tony Bobolinsky's lawyer fees have been paid by a Trump super PAC that... That's as recent as January. That was the major false statement that she made. You know, the, the typical leftist bullcrap that comes out of their mouths, right? Well, the co-host's remarks led to a swift rep uh, rejoinder from members of Bobolinsky's legal team. They ended up sending a letter, a team, uh, okay, they sent a letter referring to Tarlov's accusations as unequivocally false and defamatory. It stated that no Trump super PAC has ever paid Mr. Bolinsky's legal fees. Okay? And what they wanted, the, the attorneys demanded that Tarlov retract her statements during the Thursday broadcast of The Five. Instead, Tarlov responded by issuing a clarification letter about her previous comments. So here they are. Basically, what she and Fox are doing right now is they're playing basically a word game here. So this isn't a very smart, in my opinion, because a defamation lawsuit against Jessica, we all know who is pregnant right now, and Fox News, that hurts. Fox doesn't want to lose money, and you can lose a ton of money from a defecation lawsuit, especially when you start playing games like this. This is what she said during um, her response on uh, Thursday. She says, quote, Jessica says this, I would like to clarify a comment I made yesterday during our discussion of Tony Bobolinsky's appearance at the congressional hearing. During exchange with my colleagues about the hearing, I said that Ms. Bobolinsky's lawyers' fees have been paid by a Trump super PAC as recent as January. What was actually said during the hearing was that the law firm representing Mr. Bobolinsky was paid by a Trump PAC. I have seen no indication of those payments were made in connection with Bolinsky's legal fees, and he denies that they were. Does that sound like an apology that um, the lawyers were demanding? No, not at all. Not whatsoever. She's trying to make a clarification here. Well, it goes on to say, so this story's not over. She goes, this clarification did not satisfy Bolinsky's lawyers who sent another letter to Fox Corporation threatening, once again, defamation lawsuit. Okay, these, you know what, these guys aren't playing. You know, during the past, the lefties, as we all know, probably for the past decade, have been pretty much been able to get away with anything and everything. And you know what? Rhino Republicans would do nothing to stand up. No one would do nothing to stand up because everybody was afraid of cancel culture. Not so much anymore. You go after these people's pocketbooks, yeah, that's when they start taking notice. And Fox, I don't know what they were thinking by having a clarification go forward. Were they thinking that this would be enough and that the uh, that um, Bobolinsky's lawyers would go away? Not a chance. They're showing that no, no, no. 
Bobulinski's lawyers are playing hardball here. They are, I could see them doing the defamation lawsuit if Fox and Jessica do not comply. Because obviously a clarification is not good enough. Miss Tal- Tarla then made it a point to state that this was a clarification, not an apology. Right? She made the point that it was a clarification, not an apology. <laughs> Goes to show you. Quote, what was actually said at the hearing left the impression that it was a matter of fact, not a claim by a Democrat representative that Mr. Belinsky's legal fees were being paid for by a Trump PAC and that Mr. Pasadent- whatever, Pasantino's law firm secretly accepted funds from any source other than Mr. Belinsky personally for, his, for this representation. So the uh, lawyers go on to say this half hearted response and cavalier attitude, which has to piss anybody off, it's the arrogance, right? Is simply unacceptable. And Miss Tarlov was aware at the time she made them that these false statements invoking President Trump would inflame a segment of the country against Mr. Bobulinski and Mr. Pasan- uh, Pasantino. It would falsely cause her viewers to disbelieve Mr. Belinsky's sworn testimony. Yeah, I think this leftist knew what she was doing, you would think. Fox allowed her to do that. Yeah, so here we go. This is what, they, this is what the attorneys want now. The attorneys demanded, once again, a complete retraction and apology by Miss Tarlov at the top of today's show while showing this photograph in which Miss Tarlov clearly states that she explicitly apologized to Tony Bobulinski and Stefan Passantino for making a false claim on the air which harmed their reputations. Wow. So this is what the attorneys from Mr. Bobulinski wants. They are demanding that apology at the top of the five show, not at the end of it or anything, at the top as well as showing a photograph. My question is, because it's Friday right now, the the show has not aired yet, I am wondering if they're going to do it. Or are they going to subject themselves to a defamation lawsuit? Which would be one probably for Jessica and a separate one for Fox News. That's That's what I'm guessing here. They go on to also say this. They also asked that Tarlov also say, quote, to be clear, it appears that Mr. Bobulinski has always paid all of his legal bills and there is no evidence that Mr. Passanantino or his law firm accepted money from anyone other than Mr. Bobulinski for his reputation, representation. So basically, these lawyers have to tell these leftist morons exactly what to say. Do they not, I guess they don't understand, this Jessica, just how serious a defamation lawsuit is. A defamation lawsuit can literally destroy her. Fox News can uh, basically, um, you know, they would probably do some sort of out of court settlement. That's what what my guess would be. But the problem is, is that Mr. Bobulski's reputation is at hand here because of what the leftist drivel that came out of that woman's mouth. They go on to say this, quote, These statements must be made without the petulant innuendo or further attempted mental gymnastics as we saw from her yesterday. I would say that um, the lawyers on Bobulinski's side are extremely pissed about this. And they are playing serious hardball here. I don't think Fox News thought, that the lawyer team thought that um, they were going to play this kind of hardball. But no, they're going at them. They're going at him big time here. And I really hope they got some claws behind that. Wow, eh? So the exchange among Fox Corporation, Tarlov, and Bolemsky's attorneys underscores a broader conflict between public figures and members of the media. Yeah. Media, these leftist media have been getting away with saying all this crap stuff. All this bull crap stuff. It's nice that the only way you can fight back against them doing all this is you got to go after their pocketbook. You got to go after their money. Because that's the only thing that seems to work. It's the only thing that works. 
when you're going after the lefties. So right now it says many commentators and journalists have been called to the carpet for making inaccurate statements to achieve political ends. You remember um, what happened with CNN when they went after that guy? I can't remember the, 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 um, the young man's name, but he ended up getting a massive, massive amount of money when they did a defamation lawsuit against CNN. The same thing with uh, another individual I can't remember the name of as well, also got a massive amount of money from CNN. So you go after their pocketbooks? Yeah, that's when they listen. So this has definitely been the case with Bobulinski, who has received numerous attacks from folks on the left for his allegations against President, President Biden. It goes to show you like, wow, eh? Anyways, that's the uh, continuing saga right now, guys, of the legal nightmare that Jessica Tarlov in Fox News is starting to find themselves in as a more than likely massive defamation lawsuit against both of them unless they do exactly what the lawyers on Bobulinski's team want them to do. And boy, oh boy, I'm going to be watching tonight on The Five if Jessica makes that apology exactly the way that Bobulinski's lawyers want it to be made. So this is getting interesting, boys and girls. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that, as you guys know, I'm Canadian. That's my perspective here on this one. Uh, Till next time, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, hit the uh, like button, and let me know what you think about this whole situation because I personally, I can't stand that Tarlov uh, girl. Man, oh man. And you know what? You know, Greg and Jesse... And, and the others like to team up on her because <laughs> the, the, insans, the insane stuff that comes out of her mouth, it's ridiculous. Anyways, till next time, people. Thanks for listening. Keep it salty.